Hello, Annie Cuddy, and today I thought I'd show you how to plumb in and get electricity to your town in City Skylines. There's a couple of tutorials online, uh, but I'm going to show you my own because I'm going to get straight to the point and you should be able to follow along if you don't know how to do it already. So, there's a couple of things to do with water. The first one is the water pump, which provides clean water to your city. So, if you look, in the water there's little arrows and that shows you the direction of the water so you want to be sucking water out right at the top of the river here and then obviously you want to put your waste which is this one right down the bottom end reason for this is you don't want to be pulling sewage water up because that is actually implemented into the game if you pull up sewage water it's going to make your town sick so try and put them a distance apart they don't have to be a bigger distance as this um, I'm just doing it to prove a point now what you do is you need to link them both together then you've got two lines you've got your um, a green line and a blue line the blue line is fresh water the green line is the waste water and all you do then is just spur off a pipe just to cover the actual squares and that's it uh, a little trick with this is if you go across 420 right so it gives you a tiny little bit of overlap for you to plonk your next line down and it'll save you a little bit of money in the long run early game it's well worth money saving so uh, there you go nice little tip for you now there's one other thing these need power to function both of them so sometimes it's good just to put a windmill right next to one of them and link them up which is what I'm going to do now just to show you um, so you see the little blue circle you want to make sure you get electricity feed inside that blue circle then you can use pylons if you want to link them together and the game's paused at the minute but as soon as you hit play um, it should feed electricity and turn the pylons blue and once both things are getting electricity you're laughing that's water being pumped in and pumped out of your city now one quick fact on here is you can see as houses develop they create their own little circles so you only have to feed electricity into the circle and that'll do the whole city so for example I'm gonna get some pylons up and as you can see they've all got electricity problems so we'll get pylons we'll spur one of the pylons off into the blue circle and that will feed electricity into the whole city and it's as simple as that it's really easy as your city gets bigger and the blue circles connect themselves you can get rid of the pylons you don't need the pylons anymore um, and that's pretty much it to do with plumbing and electricity that that's rule 101 uh, there's a couple of other little things you can get for example you can get water towers um, water towers are good if you've got no water or if you've got stagnant water you don't want to be um, pumping dirty water into a stagnant pool and then pulling out clean water so what you can do you can get a water tower instead so as you can see here we've got a green line but no blue line at the minute all you can do is drop a water tower anywhere along this line and it'll actually start pumping clean water in it's as simple as that now these things do need electricity as well so bear that in mind but remember what I was saying you can literally spur it off or if it's close enough to houses or any other building it'll automatically supply itself with electricity and there you go that's nice clean water so I've shown you how to use water towers and I've shown you how to use the pumps in and out as well and what you're looking for is a blue and a green line flowing both ways that's how you know that you've got water in and out uh, for your city it's as simple as that now there is a couple of other little tips as your city gets bigger it is force of habit to put everything together in one place so you know where it is for example cluster all the pumps up um, it's not a bad thing to do with the outputs um, but with the actual pumps that provide fresh water um, if you do clump a load up which I'm going to do here so I can show you once I've linked them all with a bit of pipe work um, they can actually starve each other of water and what I mean with this is as they're sucking water up you can see the physics already 
in the game how it's all being sucked up and as your city gets bigger you, it can actually cause big caverns in the water and, and it can actually throw your city in and out of drought so although it is tempting to put all these together it is best practice to spread them out a little bit or put them in slightly different places maybe around one side of the coast um, just to just to keep a solid supply now you can check your pollution if in doubt by clicking the top left as you can see there's no pollution at the minute because I've only just started the city but it will cause a big plume now this is what you want to avoid doing um, as you can see it's pumping sewage in uh, the water flow is heading straight towards the clean water source and things like that will make people ill now there is a top tip that I use quite a lot um, if you want to build things out into the ocean you can so you can keep your banks clear if you want to turn them into seasides or whatever just get some canal you can plonk it literally anywhere you want um, you can put it right out into sea if you want that's absolutely fine um, the physics will mess up for a little bit but don't worry it will settle down and when you go into the water supply you can actually put the pumps on the edge of the canal in the ocean and if you do get deep enough ocean you can completely conceal the actual pumps themselves um, you can do the same with um, with the sewage pumps as well just again remember to put them downstream and link them all up the same as you normally would with um, any other and remember to give them power as well and once you've done all that uh, I'll just give them a little bit of power so you can see I'll just dump a wind turbine here and the good thing about this is you can actually put pylons in the water so you haven't got to worry about them not being able to cross and um, they can cross any distance and that's it nice and easy um, so I'll get the proper view up now so you can actually see what it looks like um, remember you can put these right out into the ocean you don't have to put them this close to the bank I'm just doing it just so I can just so you can see but the good thing about this is you can clump them all together as close as you want and at no point will you ever be able to starve the clean water supply um, and if you do get a really deep bit of the ocean or a deep bit of river um, you're not even going to see the pumps at all because they're going to be completely submerged and that doesn't affect the operation one bit so uh, i hope you've enjoyed the video and i hope you've learned something new uh, thanks for watching